Good afternoon and welcome to iconic Monza here in Northern Italy. This is the circuit they call the Temple of Speed. To think a driver of his talent who has run at the front has not scored a win in two years. Pierre Gasly then with his first pole alongside Van Dorn. If you were watching yesterday and you're wondering where Evans is, we'll explain it in a second. Alex Lynn is third, then Sergei Sorokin is fourth, Rio Harianto is fifth, sixth is Arta Peak. Seventh, Richie Stanaway. Eighth is Alexander Rossi. Raffaele Marcello is ninth on home soil. Tenth, Nobuhara Machishita. VCU. And now we're underway. Decent start for Gasly. He'll maintain the lead at least at the beginning. Van Dorn bogging down. And is Lin going to be able to go around the outside of Van Dorn into the first turn? We often see contact here. Are they all going to get through? Very close indeed between Lin and Van Dorn as they suck them through at the back, but doesn't appear to be contact at the moment. Very well behaved indeed, but an enormous lead for Pierre Gasly as the Campos cars, Harry Anto and Peak go side by side down to the second chicane, and it's Lin and Van Dorn still battling over second place. Lin nearly with contact, that was so close between Van Dorn, who will get a poor exit. That's Peak on the road cutting the chicane. He was very close with his teammate, who now appears in the left of our picture. Van Dorn taking, well, keeping second place, if you like, but he's off the road, and here's an opportunity for Alex Lin, who's down the inside and through into the second Lesmo, and this will give an unbelievable opportunity to Sorokin. So start to once Van again, Dorn. take us through it, Julian. So actually here, Van Dorn looked like he didn't get a great getaway, but the second phase is really strong. Sorokin gets bolt behind him. Gasly's gone at this moment, and it's just Lin and Van Dorn into turn one. You see Machu Shita getting blocked there in the middle. Decent initial getaway. And looking look at behind Gazi now, it's all kicking off a second. It's Van Dorn just throws a bit of a nose in at the last minute. Tries to hang it around the outside of turn two. Lin's having none of it. But then Van Dorn gets in the slipstream and it's a long drag up to uh, the second chicane at turn four. And he has another go back there. You see in the middle of your picture the two Campos cars. Time all the way through. So Lin up to second place, Van Dorn coming under pressure. But we go on board with Rossi, who's trying to pass Arta Peak. And he's done it into the Parabolica. Good grip on those tyres at this stage. An enormous margin. Then it's Van Dorn in third. But is that about to change immediately? Because down the inside, forcing him to the very edge, forcing him wide is Sergei Sorokin, who takes that third position away from the championship leader. And now Van Dorn, who's still on the front row, finding himself racing the man second in the championship, Alex Rossi, who is fifth, sixth in peak after going wheel to wheel with his teammate. And we see the Trident next to Jordan King heading down Kerr Grande. They still haven't stood out the order. As Stanaway tries to get past Matsushita. Now oh, Matsushita's got past him. Stanaway was trying to respond. Incredible bit of racing there, the first lap. Oh, contact! Contact in the background there between, I think it was King, who was very close indeed to Giacotto. And somehow they've got away with it. Because that can very easily spit you into the wall. King through past Markolov. So we'll have to have another look at that. We've got a car off the road, it's an MP in the background, and still they're side by side at Monza. Jordan King ahead of Markolov. Down the once inside. again, Matsushita, but for the moment he stays in ninth place. Markolov trying to respond to King, who obviously has damage. You can see that on the left-hand side of his car, very close between the two of them, and Markolov takes that position back. So Markolov moving back up to 14th, in the race and it's so close between all of them here's Mardenborough and Evans who wasn't really able to improve at all he is in 18th position it's going to get very close down there between Chicotto and King in the King. wall on the exit of Ascari it's one of the MP motorsport cars and unfortunately Van Buren's GP2 debut goes no further than the fourth lap of the race I think he was off the road on the first lap as well, and we have a safety car to neutralise the race. Let's see how it happened. Oh, he'd lost it a long way before he got into the corner. Yeah, it looks a big impact. It's a high-speed corner here at Ascari. Shifting up to four, nearly fifth on the exit, and he's just lost it well through the right-hander, and that is, look at the damage that that's caused to the front right. That's, uh, yeah, a pretty big one for MP Motorsport, another big one for MP so after the brief interlude, we are ready to go racing once again. Pierre Gasly had really built up a sizable lead. He's had that cut down. 
and he leads the field away. It's a Dams 1-2 at the moment. Sergei Sorokin in third place, trying to change that though as we're back racing at Monza and you see a terrific toe for Sorokin. He's already pulling alongside level now. Does he have the confidence under braking? Lin has the inside line. Visoyu locking up and going through past Matsushita. Matsushita is trying to make the move for the moment. Visoyu maintaining position. And Sorokin are on board with him now. So close to the back of Alex Lin. As they go through Curva Grande, heading to the second chicane. Who blinks first? And Lin, with confidence on the brakes, takes the position, maintains the position. And he's got a lot of wrap acts in his rear. On Stanaway, this is for seventh place. The Red Arden, the green and black status, as Matsushita tries to get past Visoyu in front of him, and Nato's gonna send one down the inside, and he's going to make the move on Richie Stanaway. Up the seventh goes the Frenchman, and Arden running in the points. They haven't scored many of them this year. And now the race going to change completely because we're about to see DRS at Monza for the first time in GP2 as Stanaway tries to respond, but he doesn't have the track position. Nato covers him up the, on the uh, exit the finish line. Okay, box, box, box. So the instruction pretty clear for Pierre Gasly into the pits. He is called. Robert Visoyu has stacked up a train. Will he pit? He does as does our leader of the race. So in comes Pierre Gasly from the lead to get rid of the, team. the second chicane on the opening lap as Gasly rejoins. It's a super safe strategy to try and cover Van Dorn. He's just on the fastest second and third sector of the race. Of He's Gasly's not going cruising. very quickly, is he? He's not going very quickly at all, and Van Dorn goes past him. Van Dorn goes past him, but Gasly, has he got a problem? It did not sound good coming out of the pit. Oh no! Harping for Pierre Gasly. He's had such a tough year. He's looked so strong all weekend. But now he's got some sort of mechanical issue, it appears. Anyway. So just Fine. trying to see at the rear of the car, is that attached? Dam's having a nightmare at the moment. So Sorokin jumps Lin. But where is Stoffel van Dorn? There he is. So Sorokin has taken the lead of this race effectively. Lin with a problem. Was that just warming tyres or is that a loose wheel at the end? Van Dorn all over him. Will he have superior traction? Remember, his tyres are up to temperature. Lin's on. And this is a huge opportunity for Van Dorn to get past the Englishman through Curva Grande. He goes very close indeed. He was in this position a few laps ago. Huge confidence on the warmer tyres. Has he overcooked it though? He'll just to make, make the corner. And Van Dorn moves up in the race. That will be a net second place. And Van Dorn making it work when there's chaos all around him. Gasly back to the pits. And oh, you really do feel for the Frenchman because that is a nightmare for him. Such, such bad luck for Gasly. He does the perfect weekend so far. Matsushita out of the race unrelenting drama in just 11 laps here at Monza. I wonder if we'll be able to find out what happened to him. Now, Van Dorn in the slipstream of Sorokin with the use of DRS. Sorokin goes defensive, but Van Dorn's passed him for the lead of this race. And Stoffel Van Dorn, after a terrible couple of laps, came into the pits before the rest of the leaders did. His tyres were up to temperature, and now, he has the lead, but for how long as Sorokin comes back at him into the second chicane? Van Dorn's just got to cover this off as he does. He's on the inside now, he's just going to not be outbroken. He's got the confidence on the brakes. We've seen that in the last lap with Lin, and he's got it covered. So they, stopping those two laps earlier really paid off at the moment for ART. He's managed to get clear air, pump in two big laps, setting the farthest sectors of the race. And now he's jumped two positions. And so, Norman Nato in the Arden is the man leading this race from Richie Stanaway. He has not stopped. And that's Sorokin back in what is the net lead of this race. So Sorokin getting back at Van Dorn. Van Dorn got past him one lap ago, and Sorokin responds less, th less than 3.5 miles later. So it's ninth as the, so as the stops filter through, but that is a pivotal move in the context of this motor race.
That is, that's huge. And, and Sorokin's on the slightly better tyres as well. So Van Dorn had made the move. What we thought was the all-important move. Let's go on board with Sorokin here. Quite far back. He'll get the DRS open. Let's see the closing speed he's got now. It's pretty huge. And Van Dorn just doesn't cover it. So Sorokin just takes the inside. He's ahead before the braking zone with thanks to the DRS and the, the huge speed he's got. So let's, just recap the the problems, sorry, let's just recap the problems that Dam's had. Pierre Gasly was leading this race. He came in to cover Van Dorn in the strategy, but the wheel was not properly attached. See it once again. This was a lap later for Alex Lynn. So this was the right rear that's very, very slow to go on. Watch the gun. Oh, no, the, the gun's just slow to come off, so the, the wheel actually went on fine, but it just needed a second man to come to get it off, and then it just needed Alex Lynn to put his foot down to get it off in the end, so... Uh, the racing continuing then on the iconic main straight here at Monza. Van Dorn might have set the fastest lap of the race, but he's got Alex Lynn all over him. And Lynn is through, and there might be contact, and it is in a big way. Lynn and Sorokin making... Contact into the first chicane, and somehow Van Dorn escaped there. And Alex Lynn, who has had such a good rookie here season, we go, so it's the second two cars here. You've got Sirotkin, that's Chicotto that Sirotkin's passing, who's had a drive through, not in the race really. Lynn on the outside breaks later than Van Dorn, but he's got nowhere to go. Chucks it up the inside just to try and get out the way, but Sirotkin turns in, and that's a, a crash all of Alex Lynn's making, I'm afraid. Sirotkin would have been so surprised, he's made the move and then suddenly bang into the side of him, come the damn car, so lucky not to flip over from the impact. Yeah, he was, and he's just been focusing solely on Van Dorn at the breaking point here. He's, this is uh, Sirocchi's view, he's going to know nothing about this. He thinks he's done an easy move on Chicotto. Break, nice and calm, very easy, turn it in, and then suddenly, bam, he Look turns at out at the last moment, he sees what's happened, but there's just nothing he can do. That's uh, Lin, I mean, it's, it's not a, he's not trying to pass Sirocchi, at all he's just gone in way too deep trying to pass van dorn and had nowhere to go in the end he's just uh, yeah really really overcooked that one hands off the steering wheel two wheels off the ground thankfully not flipping but out of contention to win the race the feature race here in monza as we see the dramatic collision between lynn and we see sorokin will not be able to continue he is very slow indeed. Go to Kermit Grande, Evans, Racing King, as all this goes on. This is for 15th. It will, of course, be 13th with the damage to the two cars, and Evans can't quite get past Jordan King at this time. And all this chaos there with Lynn Sorokin, who defiantly is driving that Rapax back to the pits. Yeah, you can see the vibration, he's barely holding onto the wheel. This time for Mitch Evans, trying to go around the outside. That will get very close indeed. Tries to switch back into the Retafilio chicane. Evans can't get it done for another lap, and once again, good defensive driving from Jordan King. And that's Marcello coming up behind Evans. These, these guys now are definitely in the mix for a top eight in this race, with everything that's gone on. And King's damage, I'm sure, is getting worse on that, on that right-hand side. It looked like it was a turning vein that had gone. And there is the gap back to the net race leader on paper at the moment. Stoffel van Dorn coming under huge pressure from Alexander Rossi, the man who is behind him in the championship, trying to go past him in the race for what we believe at the moment is the net race lead. And van Dorn showing defence this time, alive to the threat this time. We saw he wasn't expecting Sorokin to have the speed he did when he passed him, but Rossi with great speed again through Curva Grande. Yeah, Van Dorn did exactly the same move as he did with Sorokin, actually. He went up to the middle of the track. He's passed him. He is... Oh, Van Dorn's going to tough it out late on the brakes, but he's gone deep into the corner, and this terrific race continues between these two. It might only be for eight at the moment. Be out of shape. And now he's going to get the DRS open. Visa, you should have it as well. In fact... Yeah, he's just opened it a little bit late, but Evans is so easily up the inside. He should have this done. Binder coming out of the pit lane there, having made his stop. Evans has the track position. He forces Visoyu wide. He takes the position, and he's up to eighth in the race. As is that a problem for Richie Stanaway? He's dropping back, or was he giving the position back to Visoyu? I think he might have opened there, 
And now let's see the closing speed. Van Dorn's going to defend this one right to the inside. This is for the lead of the race. And as soon as it is for the actual lead of the race, Rossi sends one down the inside. Will Van Dorn cling on? He won't. And Alexander Rossi takes the lead of the Italian feature race for GP2. Absolutely brilliant stuff. But why, why does Van Dorn not cover the inside there? I, he's... He's so good on the brakes, all he has to do is cover the inside. He's not done it all race. Sirotkin did him earlier, and now Rossi's done the same thing. I mean, he's he's better than Rossi on the brakes, but he just left the door wide open for him. And Rossi, this time, thought he's, he might not get a better chance than this. This is the move then for the lead of the race. Now that everyone has pitted, all the mandatory pit stops complete. Van Dorn trying to cling on around the outside. Rossi track position and Racing Engineering looking at a second consecutive GP2 victory. As you see, what Julian was talking about there. But look, he comes back in the 200 miles an hour down this straight, and Mitch Evans goes to the outside, has the momentum, and now has the position, and claims what could be, if he can keep himself within five seconds of Norman Nato, a famous podium for the Kiwi. This really is a story. He's trying to go around the outside at Ascari, and what a move that is by Richie Stanaway. I know he was on a car with problems, but that's so brave around the outside as Alexander Rossi takes his second consecutive victory and wins in Italy. Van Dorn is in second. Evans will surely have kept Nato in sight, and Evans will surely take a historic and brilliant third place in the order as they come across the line. Uh, e Evan, so the order will tell you where Nato ended up originally. So it's Evans in fourth, Stanaway in fifth, Markalov in sixth, Peak dropping down to seventh at the end of Italian round. Alexander Rossi is first, Stoffel van Dorn is second. What a podium for Mitch Evans in third. Fourth for Richie Stanaway, his first points since he won in Monaco. Artem Markalov is fifth, really strong again from Russian time. They're back on form. Nato sixth with the penalty. Arta Peak is seventh. Jordan King is eighth. Ninth, Robert Viso Yu, good point scoring for Rapax and Binder driving for MP Motorsport and scoring a point on debut.